Did you know that some animals form same-sex romantic relationships? Zebra finches are a species of songbird from Australia, and they mate for life, usually with a member of the opposite sex. But scientists found that when they housed zebra finches in groups where there weren't enough opposite-sex partners for everyone, the finches would form same-sex pair bonds instead. These same-sex couples were just as closely bonded as their heterosexual counterparts. They engaged in the exact same behaviors as the straight couples, perching side by side, rubbing their bills together, preening each other, singing to one another, performing courtship behavior, and having sex. To see how committed these couples were, the scientists took an all-male flock with four homosexual male couples and introduced some females to the group. One of the eight males left his male partner to pair up with a female, but none of the others did. Two of the homosexual male couples ended up forming a polyamorous triad with a female, and one couple stayed together as a monogamous gay couple, despite the presence of females. This shows that while zebra finches may initially enter same-sex relationships as a last resort, once they're together, they're incredibly committed to one another, and in some cases may even forgo the opportunity to reproduce in order to stay with their life partner. Unfortunately, zebra finches are the most commonly exploited bird in labs, where they're often raised in isolation, deprived of the opportunity for love, subjected to horrifically invasive experiments, and then killed when the experiment is over. When I was in grad school, one of my fellow students was trying to learn a technique for killing and preserving the brains of wild birds, and I remember a professor suggesting that she practice on quote-unquote trash birds like zebra finches. This just underscores how much scientists have become used to treating these sensitive animals like disposable objects. This Pride Month, we honor the struggle that LGBT people have faced and continue to face for equal rights and dignity. We've come a long way as a society in recognizing that all humans are worthy of love and protection under the law, despite our superficial differences. And I hope that sooner rather than later, we recognize that non-human animals deserve the same. Happy Pride, and follow for more content about animal intelligence and emotions.